Okay, today we got a little bit of a modification to make to our truck. Uh, we went four wheeling in Wyoming during the quarantine of four days. That's kind of how we're counting this uh, boredom time in my life. So uh, I bent the intercooler on my truck. I'll show you here in just a few minutes because I hit a little piece of dirt with it. Uh, we realized that it is now exposed underneath the truck a lot more than we thought it was. So we're gonna go ahead and build uh, a little bit of a skid plate and frame so that we don't hit that anymore. We'll go over that, show you how we build it, and we will also kind of show it hit on the truck. So hang on her. Okay, as you can see, there's our bumper. And here is the intercooler. Yeah, we kind of bent it down. Still working fine, but what we're gonna do is build a bracket that ties into this frame, drop down bracket, and then tie it into the the bumper up in here. Hopefully you can kind of see that. So we'll cover that whole intercooler and keep it from getting hit. Okay, we took some measurements. So the first couple things we're gonna do is cut the first two crossbars. One that's gonna tie into the bumper and the one that's gonna tie it back into the frame brackets that hold the that hold the intercooler in place. So we're gonna start cutting those now. We've got measurements for those. All right, we got our parts loaded up. We'll start the chopping. Our first bar in here, we're ready to start on figuring out our crossbars to go back up to the bumper up here. So let's start test fitting that next. Okay. Now this is our second bar that we're going to use to mount up into here. We'll just drill some holes and, and mount it. And now what we got to do is tie it across between the two. Okay, we're on to our next phase now. We got some, these are going to be our bumper brackets right here. These are how we're going to tie that uh, bumper tube into the, into the bumper, <laughs> funny enough. So we're just gonna drill some holes here for bolts. Uh, we got our nice Chinesium made drill press here that we've had for a number of years. Let's see if we can kill ourselves with this. Okay, we've got our brackets all drilled out now. Ready for our bolts. Just gonna go ahead and weld these on. First part of our frame that's gonna go across the front of that bumper. So we'll make these brackets and then we'll go measure and drill for some holes on the bumper so we can get this thing started to be installed. Then we start to fit up our middle bars. They'll go across and attach to the other bar. This isn't a hammer. Shouldn't Here we did a quick test fit. Everything fits in there real nicely. We're gonna finish weld these two brackets and then we'll start on the next part.
we'll let that cool down and go ahead and uh, measure for the holes on the bumper I'm going to drill. Okay, we'll get our bracket mounted. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of figure out an angle here that we want to bend this guy back up. So I'm just trying to get this out to the edge. A little bit of tap, tapity tap. Okay, so that's about where I want it. I'm going to mark my holes and drill them. I saved you all the pain and agony, agony of watching me drill holes for this because drilling holes sucks. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mount this up through here. Then we're gonna go ahead and bend our holes the way we, bend our, our brackets the way we want them, get everything lined up. Go ahead and put a couple bolts through here. Get them loosely snugged up. there I kind of like that angle could go just a hair more perfect that's it right there boys okay so we got this in here we're gonna leave that temporarily attached we're gonna measure out a few of these guys here couple stringers to tie this together. All right, while we were off camera, I cut off three of these bars to fit up in here. So what we're gonna do right now is just get these babies uh, back in here, so fit. The thing is, this will deflect everything down underneath here, and you don't have to worry about hitting anything. All right, so we're gonna take this off now. Okay, pull that down, pop it up. Got a skid plate. Okay, we're gonna start just finish welding everything up here. Get everything tacked in place, shouldn't move. Just kind of move around, do some welds. All right, so our bars are all welded together. We'll do a little cleanup on that next. And we're gonna put the plate on here.
Up on top of there like that. I'm like, We're going to continue to fit this up and then uh, we'll start welding it. We'll start video again. I got all this kind of tacking in and welded up. So, after about an hour of welding, we've got the plate on, welded securely to our frame. I touch it, but it's probably hot. And then we did uh, some stitch welding inside. Then we'll do some grinding, clean it up. It's okay, we got it all painted up. We're gonna stick this on as soon as this paint dries. And we'll give you a final result of what it looks like. So it came out pretty good. It took too long to build. All right, there she is. She's all welded up. And installed. Clarence for the air cooler there. We'll put any more holes in it. Okay, it's been a little time. We actually, uh, Wash the truck because it was looking pitiful. There we go. The skid plate is now installed and complete. I ended up just welding it to this uh, bracket right here that comes down off the engine or off the frame. I just, what I ended up doing was welding it to this bracket that comes off the frame. This is the one that holds the intercooler. You can unbolt it from the frame, so. We're good there. All nice and neat. Got enough clearance there for our intercooler. So keep an eye on how this holds up. And then just three bolts across the front here. There you go. Nice little skid plate. Keeps stuff pretty pretty safe. Never mind the hair. We got welding hair, boys and girls. The truck is all done. With the uh, skid plate, didn't take too long, about three hours or so. We put some metal etching primer on it and then we painted it with some, with some black spray paint so it matches what's already there, black. The whole truck is black, except for the headlights and the uh, ugly chrome door handles, but it's getting there. Well, thanks for watching. We'll have some more tech videos coming up too, and some more adventures. Maybe some sand dunes here pretty soon.